The movie begins with an alien male, sending a message to his son. In the message, he explains that a man called Bello, battled with another alien called Cherno the Destroyer. Cherno forged some powerful weapons, called Wave Eater, and he laid waste to a lot of planets. Bello gathered warriors with the ability to teleport, and they attacked Cherno. This resulted in Cherno's ship crashing into Earth's moon and destroying it in the process. Cherno was able to escape in a pod that pierced Earth's core and he was trapped there. Earth suffered greatly and the Galactic Council turned to the civilized universe to help the Earth. Many years after the battle, three athletes with the ability to teleport were born on Earth. And the alien tells his son in the message that he guards the most dangerous prisoner in the universe. On Earth, people are seen queuing to fetch water. And the main character Anton, is also in the queue. He looks at the art of one of the athletes on the wall, and as he looks, a street lamp falls beside him. He runs into the bush as he tries to escape, and sees a lizard. As he jumps off in fear, he hears people talking about him, saying that bad things, always happen to him. When he goes to get his water, he says he is trying to get a job today. A female alien who is Cherno's daughter contacts Cherno through a hologram. Cherno tells her that he only has two wave eaters left, as that is all he can create, whilst he is trapped in the Earth's core. His daughter tells him that the protogene, which happens to be Anton, didn't activate. She says that any time he is nearly killed, his blood boils with adrenaline, but it's not enough to activate. Cherno says that he invented the protogene, and in his hands, it will bring a new war to the entire universe. He tells his daughter to stop scaring him, and kill him instead. He says that before he dies, the protogene will activate. The next scene shows a group of athletes. The commentator explains that the game is between the Earthlings and the Cerusians, and says that Earth is playing with one player missing, because they don't have someone who can teleport to play with them. He also explains the rule of the game, that one team has to kick the ball five times, before the goal of the opponents will be opened. Then when the ball is kicked into the goal, they win. The Earthlings were able to kick the ball five times in the game, and the Cerusians' goal opened. While the game is ongoing, and people seem to be engrossed in the game as they watch from the sky, Anton goes to meet a woman to ask her for a job. The woman tells him to go away, and that she is watching the game. She adds that everybody is watching, and he is distracting. Anton gets annoyed and closes all the windows, and says that they should all be working instead of staring at the sky. But he gets thrown out of the building. The Cerusians score a goal, and they take the lead making the score 4-3. And the aliens try to pick up the ball, which is revealed to be Cherno's Wave Eater. But Cherno gives them a fight, and he gets control of the Wave Eater, destroying the machine surrounding it. The aliens contact Bello, and he goes to the field of play. He tells the athletes that he's trying to buy time, as they experience technical difficulty. Cherno kills two aliens, and the third one manages to get the Wave Eater into the tunnel. The athletes get back to position, as Bello leaves and the game continues. The Earthlings win the game at the end of the day. With Natasha scoring the winning goal, Anton returns home, and he meets his mother lying on the floor. He wakes her up and asks where is her medicine. He finds out that the medicine has finished, and he rushes to the medicine store. He tries to break in, but gets assisted by a girl, who happens to be breaking in too. As he takes the medicine he needs, he sees a candy beside him, and takes one. The police arrive, and the duo evades them swiftly, giving the police a hard time as the duo are too quick. Along the way, Anton loses his grip and falls through a roof. The police almost catching him, but the girl assists as they bounce off using a tree into a house. They both hide in a little closet, but Anton is unable to keep calm as his voice draws the police towards them. Anton decides to surrender apparently, but looks for an opening which he uses to escape. But unfortunately, he gets jammed by a car, making the medicine pour out gradually on the floor. The driver of the car turns out to be Cherno's daughter, who can copy people's appearance. Anton appears elsewhere, and Bello gets a notification of unidentified teleportation. The girl approaches Anton, and takes him to an underground crib. And he finds out that her name is Anya, and just like him, doesn't like Cosmo Ball. When he leaves to check on his mother, she is revealed to be Cherno's daughter. She got his DNA by cutting part of his hair when she rubbed his hair earlier. She goes back to meet her father, and gives him the DNA, stating that the protogene has activated, since Anton already teleported, and he uses the DNA to create a serum, which he injects into an egg-like structure, it glows at first but returns to its normal state, and he tells his daughter that it isn't enough, and says she should kill him. 
When Anton gets home, he meets Bello and the athletes. Bello tells him that he can now play Cosmo Ball, but he doesn't feel interested in play, and tells them to leave, as he has to take care of his sick mother. Natasha promises that Anton will find a cure for his mother, if he plays with them and he accepts. Anton follows them to the stadium, and is mind blown by the structure. Bello then takes his blood, and uses it to create a droid called Sponix. They tell him that he has to feel a connection with the Sponix, before it can say its name, he scares the Sponix off. Then they go to the training ground to teach Anton how to teleport. When he finally gets it, they tell him to kick the ball. And when he does, the ball explodes in just one touch. They were surprised, and they thought it to be a glitch. They also noticed that he used his hands like a goalkeeper. Bello gets notified of the Galactic Council meeting. On his way out, he tells Natasha that there is no way to save his mother, and Anton hears it. In the Galactic Council meeting, Bello tells the other leaders that he is going to save Anton's mother, no matter their decision. Natasha follows Anton home to run some dialogue diagnoses on his mother, and Anton's mother tells Natasha that she was pregnant with Anton when the moon was destroyed, and she felt a needle pierce her belly. A boy comes through the window to tell Anton that Anya is looking for him. He goes to her place, and she gives him a sap filled with poison. That will poison any plant from the inside. As he hesitates to collect it, Anya turns away, and Anton tries to take it from her. They end up falling on each other. Just when Natasha gets inside the crib, Anya secretly gives the poisonous sap back to him, and he leaves with Natasha. When they get to the stadium, Anton asks Natasha what will happen if Sponix never says its name, and she tells him it would die. The next day, everyone starts to gather at the stadium, and the athletes suit up as they get ready for the match. They leave Anton behind, and Anton drops the poisonous sap in the stadium. Anton joins the others, and they all head to the field of play. When the game starts, Anton doesn't join the team to play, and he just sits on the floor. The other athletes and Bello ask him what's wrong, and he doesn't respond. The fans start to call him a quitter, and Bello stops the gameplay. Bello goes to meet him on the field of play, and Anton tells him that he lied about treating his mother. Natasha shows him a video telling him that his mother is already better. Anton then follows Bello, and they both go to where the remnants of the ball are disposed of. Bello then explains to Anton that the balls they play are wave eaters, and that it is a weapon that is used by Cherno to kill millions. He tells him that these wave eaters cannot be destroyed, but can be discharged after five strikes by an athlete with the power of teleportation. He adds that the dandelion in the stadium keeps the fans safe from the wave eater. Anton excuses himself and runs to where he dropped the sap. He sees that the stadium has already been infected, and he tries to inform Bello. Bello tries to freeze the damage, but it breaks through and spreads fast. The game starts already, and the stadium announces an emergency evacuation. While the evacuation takes place, Anton gets hit by Cherno's wave eater while he kicks it. The wave eater is then discharged, and they all congratulate Anton. Anton keeps his sponix in the stadium, and goes to meet Anya. She pours a powder on his face and he freezes, as she turns into her real self. She says her name is Valaya, and that she is responsible for all the bad things happening to him. Sponix breaks free, and as it flies out of the stadium, Natasha and Bello follow it. She takes Anton's blood, leaving him unconscious, and gives it to her father. Cherno injects the blood into the egg-like structure, and a monster comes out of it, and he takes control of the monster. Sponix arrives at Anya's place, and cures Anton at the expense of his life. Natasha and Bello arrive and notice that the crib is part of Cherno's lab. Bello asks if Anton poisoned the stadium, and he says yes. Cherno contacts Bello from the crib, and tells him to join him or be destroyed. He also called Bello his creator, which made Natasha ask what he means. Cherno teleports out of his prison to space with the monster, and starts to create wave eaters. Bello tells the athletes to spread themselves around the city, and he tells the earthlings the truth about Cosmo Ball. Anton goes home and feels sad, but his mother motivates and cheers him up. Natasha secretly follows Bello to space in the stadium, and asks why Cherno called him his creator. Bello says that he created him and gave him feelings, but the research Cherno made was unsafe, and he banished him. Cherno starts to attack Earth with the wave eaters, and the athletes start to attempt to discharge. The Galactic Councils start to send spaceships to attack Cherno, 
but he destroys all the ships in a jiffy. Anton tries to wake Sponix, and tells Anton its name, Mowgli. The wave eaters start to hit the earth, destroying a lot of things. And it almost hit some people, but Anton saves them. Fan gets hurt and Pele tells Anton to protect her, so Anton hand Fan over to a policeman. Meanwhile, Anton's mother and a policeman lead the earthlings to a bunker. Anton tries to kick a wave eater, but unknown two of them approach him. He kicks the first one, but gets hit by the second. Sponix finds him and they merge. Bello tells Natasha to go back to save everyone on Earth if he doesn't make it back alive. Natasha ignores him and teleports both of them to take on Cherno. Anton goes to kick the wave eaters again, and he discharges them with just one hit. When Natasha and Bello appear on Cherno's ship, Cherno tells Bello that he'd forgotten what he looked like, and Bello transforms into an alien. Cherno attacks them, and Natasha teleports to strike Cherno. She is interrupted by Velaya, who throws powder at her. And then she captures Natasha. Anton teleports to space, and heads to save them. Bello throws ice balls on Cherno, and freezes him. He attempts to freeze the wave eaters, but Velaya disguises herself as Natasha, and throws the powder to freeze him. Velaya releases Cherno, and he attempts to kill Bello. Anton appears, and holds Velaya at gunpoint. Cherno comes and stabs Velaya in the guts, saying that she has always been a failure, and pushes Anton to the wall, trapping him. He kills Bello, and Velaya tells Anton that the ship is made of his cells. Anton then takes control of the ship, kills Cherno, and destroys all his wave eaters. Natasha takes Bello's place, as she is seen talking to the people of the Earth. The moon is then recreated, and life on Earth becomes good once more. The policeman marries Anton's mother, and Anton introduces his friends to his mother. Then we see Velaya in a pod, floating across space. Thanks for watching, take care, and see you in the next video. All this money, money.